Congress averts a crisis. Late Thursday night, the Senate approved a debt ceiling deal, and it will now advance to President Joe Biden's desk, avoiding what very well could have been a big blow to our economy. Joining me now is Chuck Todd, moderator of NBC News Meet the Press. Chuck, this was truly a bipartisan vote, both for and against in both houses. But as we know, in politics, there is always a winner and a loser. So how do we think this one's going to play out mm -hmm. specifically for President Biden and House Speaker McCarthy? Well, look, I actually think they both, this is one of, look, you know, I grew up at a time in the 80s and 90s where it was okay for both sides to claim victory, and it was okay for each party to acknowledge the other side got wins here too, right? Obviously, we live in an age of negative partisanship. Social media incentive structures say never, never praise the other side, because if you do, you might as well be helping them, right? It's a nonsensical way of acting and behaving, but that's what social media and cable television uh, unfortunately, an environment that they've created. When you look at the reality of this, look, the deal itself is such small potatoes, okay? It's sort of like debating whether you just mowed the lawn or you mowed the lawn and, and, and edged your sidewalk, right? They're just, this, this wasn't, this is the tiniest changes to the budget. But it was important symbolically for Kevin McCarthy to prove to, to that, hey, control of the House for the Republicans meant they, they have some leverage here. You know, you can't just run roughshod over them. I think he proved that. I think Joe Biden was hoping he, that McCarthy didn't have the ability to unite his party, and he did. But Joe Biden made a promise to voters in 2020 that he was going to do two things, turn down the temperature uh, and work with the other side when, when he could. Some of the progressive Democrats that were running against him in the primary thought he was being, you know, oh, he's the old man. He, that's not the way politics works anymore. And I think Biden gets to say, I told you so. And now he's got a string of bipartisan wins here, whether it's the infrastructure bill, the chips bill, he got a very tiny but significant new gun regulation added. He now has this bipartisan debt deal. He now has something to take the voters in 24 to say, hey, look, I promised you I'd turn down the temperature and I did the best I could. Here's my list of accomplishments. I do think this, I think McCarthy isn't gonna get a pass to do this again. And I don't, you know, and I certainly think Biden doesn't wanna uh, upset progressives again the closer you get to 2024. So I don't think we're going to see a lot more bipartisanship between now and then. But I do think this is a case where both McCarthy and Biden got something out of this. Um, but, you know, let's be realistic. Uh, what's in this deal compared to the budget itself, you know, people are making a, a, a lot of drama out of very tiny, um, in some cases, very insignificant changes. Chuck, here in Georgia, some House Republicans voted for the deal, others against it. One House Democrat, Nakima Williams, actually voted against it. So if we're really being honest here, Chuck, any legislation that has Marjorie Taylor Greene and Hank Johnson on the same side of the vote count, you, you got to know that this is not a perfect bill for <laughs> anyone. Correct. And politics, that's the whole point of politics. I always remind people, you know why we invented politics? because we decided we couldn't decide all disputes with violence, right? The whole point of politics is compromise. That is, that is you know, so if, you're, if you don't compromise and you're in politics, then you don't know how to practice politics. So I, I, this is, it's, it's, it's supposed to be, the founders designed this system so that no one side got everything they want. Um, what's sad is we have an incentive structure that has some partisans who don't have to worry about a general election, who only have to worry about their primaries, who will vote no on this, not because uh, they really believe it's a bad vote, but they want to be able to somehow preen in a primary and prevent themselves from being, uh, uh, you know, losing in a primary because they don't have to worry about a general. So I, I would chalk up some of those voting differences between different members of the party. Uh, having to do with that a little bit. Yeah, never a dull moment in American politics. Chuck, thank you. Meet the Press airs Sunday morning at 10 right. on 11 Alive.